High school football is back and so are the latest rankings of the top high school football programs in the country from our partners at Max Preps releasing their top 25. So who comes out on top between powerhouses like IMG Academy, St. John Bosco and Modern Day. Taking a look at the top 10, it is the Modern Day Monarchs coming in at number one for the third time in five years, followed by IMG Academy in Florida. They have 20 players rated as four star recruits or higher. St. John Bosco coming in at number three. Other notables, Thompson, number five. They're on an 18 game winning streak dating back to 2019. And no longer in the top 10, South Lake Carroll in Texas, which was ranked seventh, now 23rd, after quarterback Quinn Ewers decided to leave school early and head to Ohio State. Let's welcome in our experts at Max Prep, Steve Montoya and Zach Poff. Uh, guys, we're going to get to the games here in a second, but Steve, I want to start with you because this is a very exciting time. Last season, we didn't even get California teams in the fall, and now we have the number one team in the country in modern day visiting Texas to open the season. Yeah, it's uh, an exciting time of year for sure because, like you said, last year we didn't even know what was going to happen in California if football was going to be played. Now we have modern day ranked number one in the Max Preps rankings getting ready uh, next week to hit the road to play a very good Duncanville school in Texas, and the Monarchs are just loaded. So it's, it's going to be fun to see them play. They have a scrimmage this weekend against Corona Centennial, uh, so we'll see, see what they uh, do there and then – here we go. High school football is back in modern day. One of the best in California and in the country. Let's break down modern day a little bit. Zach, I'm going to toss this over to you. As I mentioned, ranked first for the third time in five years. How elite is this specific team, though, going into the season? Yeah, you know, I would rank them as good as they've been in the last five years because you look at the depth that modern day has. They have players everywhere. We got to start with the quarterback. You got Elijah Brown, a sophomore. He became the fourth freshman in school history to start as a freshman last spring, and he led the Monarchs to a 5 0 record. Then you look in the backfield, you got a 2022 Oklahoma commit, uh, big time running back in Relief Brown. He's one of the sauciest cats in the country. He's also a big time playmaker at wide receiver. And then looking at wide receiver, you got CJ Williams, a recent Notre Dame commit. And then you flip things over to the defense. Their secondary might be the best in the country, led by five-star corner Damani Jackson. And you got recent San Diego State commit Josh Hunter at safety. This guy has been making plays since his freshman season for the Monarchs. And the linebacking core is big time. I love David Bailey. He's a four-star linebacker. And I, I think he'll be a five-star when it's all said and done. I think he's going to have a monster senior season. This is going to be a fun year. And get your popcorn ready. August 27th, they're going out to Texas. You know, the last team that was nationally ranked from the state of California to go out to Texas was in 2015 when De La Salle went out there. Modern Day is doing it this year, and it's going to be the biggest high school football game of the season. I cannot imagine that. Um, I would like to fly back from that, and I also realize how much I have missed talking to you, Zach, because I got a saucy cat out of that one. Of course, we got the popcorn back already. Zach, I'm going to stick with you here. Friday Night Lights are back this week. We actually get number three ranked St. John Bosco hosting number 15 Miami Central. What can we expect out of this matchup? You know, we were talking about California, Texas. This isn't another marquee out-of-state showdown. You got Miami Central. You know, you look at South Florida. When it comes to producing football talent, they're the best in the country. And then you got SoCal. You got St. John Bosco, the number three team in the top 25. Of course, Miami Central is ranked number 15. This is going to be a bragging rights game because, you know, teams are they're playing for their state. And when you look at St. John Bosco, you got to start with Mateo Ui Angale, the younger brother of DJ, but he's actually bigger than DJ. He's going to be a dude that is going to fall out on both sides of the ball this season. I can't wait to watch him play. He was, you know, one of two non-seniors rated in our top 10 players to watch this year on Max Prep. So he's going to be fun to watch. They got a couple of big time quarterbacks in Peyton Hauser, Michigan State commit. And then Pierce Clarkson, one of the best in the class of 2023. And a guy I got circled for St. John Bosco's Ray Sean Speedy Luke, four-star running back. This kid, he can absolutely fly. He's going to be a big time playmaker. But Miami Central's got a big time defense. So this is going to be a huge matchup to watch. And obviously the winner is going to put themselves in a good position to contend for that number one spot when we look down the road when it comes to crowning a national champ. This is going to be a marquee game, which is crazy to think of. It's only August 20th. 
Uh, we love it, and that is why we are here. So that game is Friday. We also got one on Saturday. Number 10 ranked Collins Hills High School in Georgia opening up its season against Brookwood. Guys, Collin Hills, Collins Hills has a five-star recruit and a kid named Travis Hunter. He's a corner wide receiver. Of course, Noah, who's in our control room, will let you know that he is committed to Florida State Class 2022. Zach, tell us a little bit more about Hunter. Yeah, I, you know, in that email I sent to Noah, who we wanted to talk about, I said, Travis Hunter is that dude in all caps for a reason. He's my number one player in high school football. You see the popcorn bag right above my shoulder there. He is the number one get your popcorn ready cat in the country. I love this dude. He's a baller on both sides of the ball. Last year, he was named our National Junior Player of the Year. Had over 1,700 yards receiving, 24 TDs, and had eight INTs on defense. Now, they're playing at Mercedes-Benz Stadium against Brooklyn on Saturday night, and I got a feeling he's going to play so well, the Atlanta Falcons are going to offer him a spot to play this year for them. <laughs> that is not bad. Steve, you know, we always have so much focus on Florida, Texas, California when it comes to high school football. Georgia is huge. Give us the landscape there because we're talking about some of these teams in Georgia. Give us the landscape of high school football in Georgia and maybe who's the team to beat. Yeah, and Zach is right. Hunter's the player to watch, but Grayson's like, hold up, wait a minute. We're the team to watch. We're the team who's who, who's come coming as a back to uh, state champion who beat Collins Hill twice last year, including in the state championship. So Grayson is the top ranked team in the state of Georgia. You also got Lowndes, teams like that. But if you're going to watch a team this year, it might be Grayson. Hunter is the player, but Grayson is the team, at least for now. Bishop Gorman in Nevada coming in at number 12 of the rankings, according to Max Preps. So they're hosting St. Louis, which is actually a power high school in Hawaii. Steve, tell us about this matchup because it seems pretty intriguing. Yeah, it is, especially, you know, for Hawaii, they didn't get to play at all last year. So no football games. Now Hawaii, uh, their, their top ranked team, they're ranked 30th in the country, is going to fly into the state of Nevada and play arguably Nevada's best team. I mean, this team won 10 straight state titles um, dating all the way back. Their first state title they lost was in 2019. So this is just going to be an incredible matchup. The best team from Nevada against the best team from Hawaii. Bishop Gorman is absolutely loaded on defense. I mean, they got uh, two really good cornerbacks. Zion Branch, he's the number one cornerback in the state of Nevada. Uh, USC commit Fabian Ross is another cornerback. Then you got this kid Cyrus Moss, six foot six edge rusher, linebacker, can do it all. I mean, he's got 29 offers right now. The 24-7 sports crystal ball has him going to Oregon. So we'll see if the quarterback, A.J. Bianco from St. Louis, that he's got an incredible offensive line coming with him. We'll see if they can put up points. But this is going to be a fun one in the state of Nevada. Guys, we've got Corner Canyon ranked 24th right now, according to Max Prebs. Uh, this is the only top 25 team to play so far. What a game it was. 2022 USC commit Devin Brown throwing eight touchdowns in the first half. Zach, correct me if I'm wrong. He's a four star. We're looking at a potential five star and just how incredible this kid is. Hey, if you ask my guy Greg Biggins, he's a five star because he was saying before this game that he has Devin Brown in his top five among quarterbacks in the class of 2022. And hey, he, he made my guy look pretty smart last week in his first corner in his first game as a corner Canyon Charger. Dude completed 18 of 22 passes for eight touchdowns through for 451 yards. When you throw for four more touchdowns and incompletions, I would say your QB rating is going to be pretty good. He's got a bunch of ballers on the outside making plays. You got Cody Hagan, a four-star wide receiver. He had 167 yards receiving and four TDs. And Jet Miney had three touchdown receptions. This is going to be a fun team to watch. And you just look at head coach Eric Kerr. Man, this guy, you know, this is for you. Amanda, he is the Lincoln Riley of high school football when it comes to coaching quarterbacks. You just look at Corner Canyon. You know, they, they've had a bunch of big time quarterbacks in the past. Last year, Jackson Dart was named our national player of the year. And the start Devin Brown's having, he's put him, his name in the mix to maybe win it again this year. Corner Canyon, they love offense. They put up 65 by halftime last week. And I would not want to be a defense lining up against those boys. Devin Brown's a baller. And also, too, they got Isaac Wilson waiting in the wings, the younger brother of Zach Wilson, a class of 2024 quarterback who threw a 43-yard absolute dime for a touchdown, too. You can go to my Twitter and check that out. That boy is saucy, too. I, I, hey, you know, there ain't no problems in Utah when it comes to quarterbacks for Corner Canyon.
I appreciate the Lincoln Riley reference. Uh, problem is he's committed to USC, not Oklahoma, but OU like doing it. very well when it comes to recruiting right now. Steve Montoya, Zach Poff, it is a pleasure to talk to you guys again as we are diving into the high school football season. What a season it is about to be. Uh, modern day taking on Duncanville. They're in Texas August 27th. So from rankings to schedules, rosters, everything you see right there, make sure to visit our friends at Max Preps.